And so here we learn <clears throat> how to handle synthesis. Right? So there are two basic types of synthesis. One is a normal synthesis and one is retro synthesis. So in this, this part, we will only touch the basics. All right? So how do we handle the two different synthesis? All right? So a normal synthesis, we've been doing this pretty much all the time anyways like so you have let's say you have the bromine just your leaving group and if you have the OH minus all right and then you find the product okay so that's a normal synthesis all right and then you have a second category that is retro synthesis okay so in retro synthesis let's say what you have is you have the starting material and you have the product In this case, you have to find out okay, what you will really need from going from here to here. So this is your starting material and that's your product. So in this case, you have to find the reagent. So what goes on the top of the arrow is called as reagent. Okay. In this case, you have to find the product. All right. So there is a difference between the two synthesis. So retro synthesis, you have to find the reagent. In normal synthesis, you find the product. All right. So <clears throat> let's let's work it out now. So you have the OH minus, then you have a carbon with a leaving group, right? The moment I see a leaving group, <clears throat> that means I'm stuck with two things. It can be elimination or it can be substitution, right? So if I want to do substitution, then that will be the product. Right? Because Br will leave and OH will take its place. And if I do elimination, then I will get this product. Right? So that's your alpha carbon, that's your beta carbon. So you should have your substitution product and elimination product. Right? Got it? Okay, in case of retrosynthesis, we have the product and we have the starting material. Now we have to find out what reagent we need. Okay? So what kind of reaction is that? So the most important thing always is to classify the reaction, okay? What type it is, right? So I'm replacing bromine with OH. That means it's a substitution, okay? And what I need here to here then, I can, I can use OH minus, that's your strong nucleophile, or I can use H2O. Anyone is fine, they will give you the required product. Okay, now this is the very simple example, okay, of synthesis or okay, endretosynthesis. Okay, you, you have a direct access from here to here. Sometimes it may not be direct, it may be not one step synthesis, and that's why you have to break it down further. And I'll show you how to break it down when we actually have the complex examples. All right, for retrosynthesis, for now, let's focus on the normal synthesis. Okay, let's do one at a time. Okay. So for normal synthesis, let's say, if you don't have only one step, instead you have multiple steps, right? So here, instead you have something like, like this, let's say. So you have, all right? So OH, and then you have, let's say on the top of the arrow, you have OH minus here. And then number two is CH3Br. And then you have to find the product. Okay, so finding the product, that means you're doing the normal synthesis. Okay, so this is synthesis. All right, so how do you handle this when it is not one step, right? So how do you break it down? Okay, you break it down this way. So you, you're starting with the Okay, that's your starting material. That will react with OH minus. So that will react with OH minus. And whatever product you get here, <clears throat> that will react with two. So that will be your CH3Br. And that will get you the final product. Okay, so that's how you read it. So this is your number one, will react with your starting material. Whatever product you get, that will react with number two. Okay, that's your CH3Br. 
Okay, that's how you break it. Now, when you break it down, it looks a lot simpler now. Okay, how? Because you decide now what reaction is this. Okay, so OH is not a leaving group. OH is not a leaving group. That means I cannot do elimination. I cannot do substitution with this. The only choice I have now is acid base. All right. So this is your B minus HA. So you can do acid base reaction here, and that will get you your. So I just go ahead and write down here. So that will get you your product that will be O minus. Okay. Again, we are not writing the byproducts here. We are only writing the product that has the carbon in it. Right? And that will react in step two okay, with CH3Br. So product of one will react with two. Right? So if you look at product two here, okay, product of one, then you have the carbon with a leaving group and you have O minus. Okay, so the moment I see a leaving group, then I am doing either substitution or elimination. Okay, so we are looking at these two now. Right? So you have a carbon with a leaving group, but I don't have beta carbon here. Right? So if you want to do elimination, then you need to have alpha carbon with a leaving group and beta carbon with at least one hydrogen. But I don't have the choice here. That means the only thing I can do here is substitution and since this is a methyl carbon that will do SN2, SN2 attacking and leaving at the same time. All right? So nucleophile will go and attack, leaving group will leave. That means CH3 will get replaced by this whole group. So what's the product you have then here? That should be your product. Okay? So that's the final product in your synthesis. Okay? Now again, how do you handle it? You split it like this. So one reaction at one time. So starting material N first will react together. Whatever product you get, that will react with two. So if you lay it down like this, it's a lot simpler. All right. So let's take a look at a retro synthesis when it's not a straightforward synthesis. All right. <clears throat> so let's take a look at retro synthesis. So let's, let's assume an example here that we have OH and then all right. So you have the starting material, you have the product and you have to find out what are the reagents. Okay. Now, the question is, do I have a direct access from a starting material to product? Is it one step? And the answer is no, because OH is not a leaving group, right? If I have a BR, then I can do elimination, right? Because double bond, you get only through elimination, right? So if I do elimination, then I can easily get a alkene, double bond is a product, but OH is not a leaving group, right? So the question is, what do, what do I need for? So then you try to go a step backwards, right? So if I go a step backwards, then what I need here, I need a leaving group, right? So if I put a leaving group on this carbon, right? So that will become your alpha carbon and beta carbon, right? So if I put a leaving group here, okay? Then I can throw a base. Now you have to be careful here because you have two types of betas. And I want this, so that means you're putting potassium tert-butoxide, a bulky base, to go from here to here, right? And now the question is, can I convert my OH into a leaving group, okay? The answer is yes. How can I convert that? I can throw HCl, right? So if I throw HCl, okay, <clears throat> what HCl will do, there will be an acid-base reaction that will change into OH2+, plus. so the leaving group here will be OH2 plus. So that becomes your alpha carbon, that becomes your beta carbon, and then you do the elimination. Okay. So what are the reagents you need here then? Number one will be HCl, and number two will be potassium tert-butoxide. So that's your answer. Okay. 
So that's how you write the retrosynthesis. So when there is no direct access from one from starting material to product, then what you do is you take a step back. Okay. What I need first, okay, what I need to go from here to here and then you look forward and see if I can get that starting material from the given starting material. Right? So this is the elimination and what I need for elimination, I need alpha carbon with a leaving group and a base and can I convert this into this then. Okay. So again this looks, this looks like a simple example but eventually you might actually have two step backwards, two step forward but you have to play with it. Okay, that's, that's, the, that's the beauty of synthesis that you have to play with it okay, and to find the right match. All right? But all I can tell you most of the time if you go a step backwards then you actually see the road ahead. So you can, you can write your answers. Okay? 